Now, meantime, a guy who's off to a fantastic start is left-hander Brian Mattis. Yesterday in Oakland, he won against the Athletics as uh, the Orioles were able to snap the two-game losing streak. And we're going to get more on that now and head out to Seattle and visit with Amber, who is sitting with the Orioles left-hander. Amber. That's right, Jim. Well, Brian, yesterday the team breaks out of uh, the, the nine-game losing streak. First of all, just as a team, we were in the clubhouse together after the game. What was the environment like? Oh, it was great. We were loose, having fun with it, and it's nice to get a win on getaway day, too. It's, it makes it a lot more fun, and, and it's, it's nice to get that off our back and know that we've been playing well, and we played well yesterday, and, and finally got a win out of it. So it's a great feeling, and um, real loose clubhouse right now, and we're just going to continue to roll with it. One thing I did notice about you, the other pitchers, and just the team in general, it didn't seem like anybody was really panicking. I know the fans were very concerned, but it's what was the mentality through that stretch? It was, it was tough because we knew that we were playing well and that um, we were giving it our all and we were just coming up short a couple of those games and, and uh, we, we played everyone tough um, from the get-go and uh, to get over that hump and, and to get a win is nice because um, because now we could just uh, have fun with it and and uh, get all that pressure and all that out of the way and, and now just go out and have fun and play a game the game. Going into the start yesterday in Oakland, what was your mentality? Did you think, I've got to put my team in the position to win and I'm going to do whatever I can to snap this? You know what, for me it was just treating it like any other game and that's what you got to do. Um, you can't think about what your record is or what has happened the previous games. You got to go out there each and every game and and um, we focus in on what I need to do to put ourselves in a in a winning situation. And I was uh, I was excited to fetch up, uh, excuse me, face up against Anderson because uh, he's uh, another young lefty out there, and it was fun to go up against him and and uh, and get the win out of it. I know the fans enjoyed watching that. Rick Kranitz told me one thing you were doing this year differently is that you were attacking with your fastball. Last year, I'm sure that's what you wanted to do, but what did he mean by that? Well, I think last year um, I had a lot more nerves and I was unsure about pitching in the big leagues and a little bit tentative about going after guys with the fastball. And now I, I know I have confidence in it and I'm able to, to really attack the zone in and out a lot better. And uh, going in on guys has, has been really effective for me this year. I've been breaking a lot of bats and, and just moving the ball um, from corner to corner in and out really uh, consistently with weeders. And we got a good game plan out there right now. And it's, uh, it's nice to have that confidence and not be so nervous out there every game. And, and um, Matt and I have been working really well together. Just the whole game, I think I've only shook him, shook him off maybe three times all year. And uh, I mean, it just shows what type of page we're on. We're on the same page and, and um, really mixing up and, uh, and getting after guys. One thing that fans are buzzing about is if you're watching the games that you pitch in, I went back to Tampa Bay and I remember a strikeout of Longoria, also a strikeout of Pena, and both of them were called three strikes. And they looked back at the mound as if you genuinely surprised them. It uh, also happened yesterday with Eric Chavez. It looked like he was not expecting the curveball that you threw. When you do get a, pit, a batter of that caliber looking back at you a little bit surprised, what does that feel like? Oh, it's a great feeling. I mean, I, you know that you really had him fooled. And uh, I think that's the approach that I've been able to do real well this year is, is really keep guys off balance and so that they really don't know what to expect. And uh, that pitch to Chavez yesterday was actually intended to be a slider. And uh, I was really trying to bury it and throw it hard and try to get him chasing. I end up getting around on a little bit more than expected. I end up breaking hard like a curveball, which, which was fine. It got him completely off balance. But, um, but no, get, getting big hitters like that out is, uh, is a lot of fun. And it's... And, uh, it's nice to, to be in that groove and continue to do it over and over again. Hey, it's easy to get the batters off balance when you didn't know what you were going to throw. You thought you were throwing a slider and you ended up throwing a curve. That was, a, that was fun to watch, that, bat, that at bat. One of the things that you did receive yesterday that other pitchers have not received is some run support. What has it been like to see these bats come alive? Because coming into this season, the belief was not that the offense would be the area that would really struggle. Yeah, I mean, it's tough right now. Uh, um, we did a great job yesterday at scoring with two outs. Um, his tour started off that rally with a two out hit and then we just continued to, to go with that. So to be able to get those two out hits and, and score like that's huge. And, and now we know we could do it, we could just relax and, and get things like that going. And I feel like we've ran into some unlucky times too, where guys have hit the ball hard, or it's been right at guys, or, or diving plays left and right. I feel like we've had a lot of web gems against us. So just get all the un unlucky plays out of the way and uh, 
now we could uh, just relax and, and play our game. All right, Brian Mattis, 2-0, and one of the bright spots of this season. I know the fans are looking forward to seeing you, especially back up north at the yard. Thanks, Brian. All right, thanks, Amber. All right, let's go back to you, Jim and Rick.